On this adventure, we travel to U.S. Highway 101, the Redwood Highway, and visit the coast of Northern California and Oregon. Come take a drive as we check out the Avenue of the Giants, some amazing little beach towns, and some great waterfalls. So our first night we stayed here at the Mill Casino and RV Resort, and this was really a nice place to hang out. Full hookups, most of the spots were pull through, great views, and a shuttle to take you over to the casino if you want to do some gambling or get a meal. Uh, it really was a nice place to hang out. Pretty awesome site here. It's a little rem remnants of an old pier out there. It's all dilapidated and they have it fenced off, but uh, Coos Bay, man pretty beautiful all the forest and homes out there is pretty cool so your primo spots here for sure 76 77 78 going up I don't understand it's like 10 bucks more to be in the front row I guess maybe my budget's different than everybody else but to me that view that's worth 10 bucks all day long we really enjoyed our stay at the mill. And as you can see, these spaces are wide. There's plenty of room between you and your neighbors. And the views were fantastic. The only downfall is that the casino is very smoky. We went to go to dinner. It was so smoky, we actually turned around and went back and just made dinner in our motorhome. So that was a downfall. But other than that, it was a great place to stay. Four big male elk. One keeps looking at me. He spotted me. Yeah, he does. The next stop was Munson Creek Falls. What a beautiful place. And as you can see, this drive was simply amazing. All right, beautiful place. Go parked. Pretty majestic. How much further? Have you been here? No. Did you live in this area? No, no, I'm from Long Beach, California. Oh, oh that's right. We've lived here our whole life. We didn't know this was. You gotta go. Yeah. It's it's up a big hill. Okay, that's right. But it's it's it feels big. Yeah. Worth it. Have really? you seen Multnomah Falls? Oh yet? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better. Small. Nice. Better. Small, yeah. But... Yeah. We've lived here our whole life. Really. Well, this last little bit, pretty steep, taking a break. Mary's uh, coming up. She's stopping about every 12 feet to take a picture because this is really, really special. The moss on the trees, the ferns, the greenery, just super, super beautiful. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. There's no else to say this is a spectacular waterfall cascading down hundreds and hundreds of feet. Just nice and slow and steady. Super awesome. Wow. So this waterfall was unbelievable. Nobody talks about it. It's a little south of Tillamook, um, off a little road, a couple mile drive back in and about a quarter mile hike, but it's not a bad hike. The end's a little steep, um, but it's not too bad. Just go slow. 
Um, bring a walking stick if you need it. That's what I did. It was it was easy, but man, the beauty here is just awesome. Uh, this is the road less traveled. We are literally the only car in the parking lot. We're the only ones here, and it's like you know middle of July. So look at this. So we're on Highway 6 coming back from Tillamook to Portland and we seen something in this turnout so we pulled over and sure enough back through there there's a waterfall right next to the road I don't even there's even a sign I don't even know if it, I'm sure it has a name but we're gonna go check it out So how awesome is this? Just down the side of the road. I mean, we're 100 feet from the car and there's this waterfall. I mean, it's amazing. So tropical, rainforest, ferns. Um, this place, there's always something around every corner. Um, there's so much to explore here and see. I bet you there's probably a thousand waterfalls like this in the state. So it's definitely an awesome spot. It looks fake almost. Like this looks like something Disneyland would make. It's so perfect. The trees falling down, the moss growing on them, uh, a busted down tree hanging down by a, I don't know what's holding that tree up, but um, this is place is amazing. So this waterfall here, um, for sure, is probably the best one we've seen. That is, I would say, any RV accessible. It's right next to the road. There's a massive like parking lot turnout here that you could get anything in. I mean, uh, full-size Class A with a pull behind, no problem. Um, so that's good, because the last falls we were at, like our rental car was tight. So there's no way you're taking even a even like a class B, a small class B would have been sketch. So this one's awesome. It's a hundred yards from the road and a short walk. You could even get a person in a wheelchair right up to it easily. Really pleasant. I mean, I feel like just grabbing a chair and sitting down and watching it for 30 minutes. What do you think, Mary? I think it's really good. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Next stop, we hit Proposal Rock in Neskowin, Oregon. And this is where Neskowin Creek empties out right into the Pacific Ocean. And the rock is named after a famous proposal that took place there in the late 1800s. And today it's really used a lot for weddings and proposals. But it's a neat little island. You can hike out to it. I saw some kids hiking up to the top. Uh, it is really a neat place. Beautiful little scenery. You can see there's a natural arch on the south end of the island and it was just a wonderful spot to hang out. It was a little foggy and cold in the middle of July. It was like 60 degrees. So make sure you pack a sweater even in the summer. Tilt the world. It's like a little um, old school boardwalk kind of area. I mean, this place is packed like Main Street USA Disneyland. There we go, old school bumper cars. And they're moving good too. Those are the old ones that haul. Nice. So they got indoor miniature golf here, which is pretty cool. When it rains eight months out of the year, we got the, something to do with the kids.
One of our favorite coastal turnouts on the entire trip was this one near Natural Bridges in Southern Oregon. While we didn't go to the actual Natural Bridges part because it looked a little tight for a motorhome, we did find this one just past it and there was plenty of room for a large motorhome to pull over and enjoy this spectacular view. Another place we stumbled across accidentally was Whalen Island County Campground near Cloverdale, Oregon. This is right off the 101. It had a wonderful beach to launch uh, your stand-up paddle boards or canoes. And it was really a great little campground, about 40 bucks a night. They do not have power, but they do have places to fill up for water. And they do have some dump stations. So I would call it kind of semi-boondocking here. Uh, not full hookups, but uh, you know, if you've got some decent batteries and a nice solar panel, you could spend a week here, no problem. Now from Cloverdale, if you head towards the coast, you go to Pacific City and Cape Kiwanda State Natural Area. This is a place that we just hung out briefly, but we would love to go back, maybe find a campground in the area and stay because it was beautiful, it was amazing, and it definitely is a place we would want to go back and check out further. So we're here in the Redwoods up south of Crescent City going towards uh, Klamath and uh, they had the road closed for we don't know but um, we're all parked not moving so we shall see well you guys are gonna be moving okay slide area coming up that ain't good wow it is literally down to one lane oh, this is some serious stuff dang man that's a serious slide holy buckets oh look they're having to redo the retaining wall and everything wow it's a good view out the window though Woo, dusty. So just south of the Del Norte Redwoods is this amazing Wilson Creek Beach. And it's a black sand beach, similar to what you see in Hawaii. It was an awesome spot to hang out. The parking lot was decent sized. We were able to get our motor home in and out of there without any issues at all. And it was just a wonderful place to stop and watch the sunset. So the Avenue of the Giants is everything they say it is. Um, it's really cool. Super lush and green, ferns and giant trees, just so tall. They, they're pretty big in diameter too. I mean, not quite sequoia big, but they're, they're giants. And they're so tall, you can't even hardly look straight up at them. So definitely right off the 101, it's not like a long drive to get here um, as far as off the main highway, but uh, definitely worth it, worth a stop. Thank you. 
As you can see, the Avenue of the Giants is one of the most amazing and beautiful drives in all of America. We really thank you for watching. Please like the video, comment, and please subscribe to the channel. We love making these videos for you and would love to hear from you.